Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a very simple vertical list in Jetpack Compose in Android. And I have an empty project here, empty Jetpack Compose project with just a bullet plate hello Android text. And I want the text to be a bit special. I want one text on the left side and an index of the list on the right side. So in the basic greeting method I'm going to remove this text and I'm going to create a new one that is just text equals the name which is just going to be a random name I'm going to create later but I also want the index so I'm going to create a index which is an integer here and that's going to be our other text so it's index to string here and I want it to be on a horizontal horizontal way, so I'm going to create a row and in this row I want to put this text in and I'm going to remove this preview here and in the greeting method where I'm trying to show this composable I'm just going to add a one to show you what it looks like now and as you can see I now have Android and one but I want the Android to be on the left side and the one to be on the right side so how do I do this? well the row has a setting called horizontal arrangement and I want the arrangement to be arrangement dot let's see arrangement dot space between and this will create the now the maximum kind of space it can create be, create between this and if I run this you can see now we have Android and the one on each side but I also want there to be some kind of padding so to do this there's no you can't just add padding to the row we need to create a modifier specify that this modifier is our own modifier and on this modifier I want to add padding and I'm going to add 16 dp as padding and if we run this oops the wrong button there we now have a bit of a padding here so now this is all done I want this to be in a kind of list and just create the number to be the index of the list and just have a bunch of random names here and to create a list make a new composable here and I'm going to just name it greeting list and it's going to take in a list and I want this list to be a list of strings very simple and in this list I'm going to use something called lazy column which is kind of like a very simplified recycle view and we don't need any kind of content here so in this list lazy column I wanna loop through my list of items and I also want the index for each item so if I use my list and type for each indexed I will get an index and I will get my item I'm going to rename this my I list item like so and now for each item here I want to do something so I have my item for each item I want to do something but I also want to make this list a bit prettier so I'm going to wrap them inside a card and uh, I'm going to add a modifier to this card just to make it a tiny bit prettier I want to make it fill the see I have to be inside here I want to make it fill the max width I also want it to wrap the content height oops wrap the content height and I also want to have some kind of padding on this let's just say 16 padding so now for each card I then want to put in my text so I have the text inside a card and between these brackets here we call the greetings method and now we need a name and an index and the name is the list item so this is each item from the list and I also want the index that we are currently in like so so let's 
We also need to make it so we call our greeting list instead of our greeting here. But now we need a list here. And I'm going to copy a very simple list I've created. So you can just copy this if you want to try it out. It's a very simple list. There's nothing fancy about it. And we put this list inside our greeting list method. And we run this. And as you can see now, we have a bunch of cards here. And it's also scrollable, like a rec recycle view would be. Uh, so it's very simple. But I also want to make the card a bit prettier. So outside the modification, since this is a card feature, I'm going to comma and write elevation 16, 16 BP as well. I'm going to run this. So now the cards are a bit higher, creating some kind of shadow. And this is a very cool way to just make a very simple list of items you have. Uh, and that's about it for this tutorial, just a very simple list. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make clickable buttons and keep some kind of state if the button is clicked or not in the next video. So make sure to watch that and thank you for watching. Goodbye.